Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Minister for Communications. We have been pleased to have announcements over the recent past about fixed line and wireless uh, internet. Um, my question is about the NBN long-term satellite service. Can you tell us, please, when it will be made available for households and businesses, particularly in Indi but other areas of Australia? And how will the download and upload speeds compare with other MBN delivery technologies? I call the Honourable the Minister for Communications. Thank you, the thank you Madam Speaker. And I thank the Honourable field. Member for her question. And I note that she said that uh, uh, Wangaratta is uh, included in the 18-month rollout plan for fibre to the node. And there are, uh, there are uh, thousands of uh, her constituents either with access to the fixed wireless network or shortly with access because construction of those towers is underway. Now, Madam Speaker, there are in Indi about 1,000 uh, uh, premises accessing the interim satellite solution. This was a $300 million catastrophe of mismanagement by the Labor Party. They spent $300 million on an interim satellite service, which has ended up giving about 40,000 Australians uh, access to dial-up speeds only. It was promised on the basis there would be six megabits per second download speed. Now, under the Howard government, which a Liberal national government that knew how to manage things like this, there was a requirement on the retail service providers under the Australian Broadband Guarantee that they had to ensure users could get 65 per cent of peak speeds at least 85 per cent of the time. There was no such requirement under Labor's hopelessly mismanaged scheme. And the consequence has been, as I said, over $300 million was spent and a quarter of a million people were told they were available to get the service. There was only ever capacity for 45, 48,000 at best. And the consequence has been that the customers are getting only dial-up speeds. A truly wasteful mis exercise and mismanagement, classic Labor Party stuff. Now, the long-term satellite will be satellites will be launched in the latter part of next year. Uh, we expect uh, that customers will be able to purchase plans from late 2015, early 2016. The speeds that will be offered, the highest speed tiers, will be 25 megabits per second down, 5 megabits per second up. A great deal of work is going into planning the way in which the spectrum is managed so as to ensure that we don't have the same problems with the long-term satellite we had with the interim satellite. And uh, the honourable member may uh, have regard to a discussion paper that the NBN Co recently put out. This is going to be a very, very important part of the program. The, you know, the, the, the coalition does not believe that the government should have been involved in a project of this size at all. But the one part of Australia where there is need for government involvement is in regional and uh, remote communities, and that, of course, is where the satellite and fixed wireless services are going to be available. Here, here.